years. He's taken a sabbatical due to work and family reasons, but is now coming back to give our club his first prepared speech in three years. The title of his speech is An Old Fashioned Father, and he is going to have his assistant, his 16 year old daughter Erica, help him out. She does not get half the crown if he wins. <laughs> Just so you know. He'll be speaking from the professional speaker manual, giving the entertaining speech. The goals of the speech are entertain the audience through the use of humor drawn from personal experience and from other material that you have personalized. Deliver the speech in a way that makes the humor effective and establish personal rapport with your audience for mas maximum impact. His time will be 10 to 12 minutes for the timer. Please help me welcome Fred and Erica for An Old Fashioned Father. My friends think it's tough, tough to be the parent of a teenage daughter nowadays. Of course there are challenges, but to put it in compendious terms, it's actually great. My friends think it's tough, tough being the teenage daughter of an old-fashioned parent nowadays. They're right, but it's actually not that bad. I have always raised my daughter with loving discipline. Seriously, though, sometimes I ain't loving discipline. <laughs> I've made it clear that I'm not one of those parents who wants to be her friend. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can be cool. I know when to interject a cool OMG or LOL, and I can do a mean robot. Okay, I get the whole parent versus friend thing, and I'm totally fine with it. But if you ever want to be embarrassed in front of your friends, just wait until the day when your dad walks in and says either OMG or LOL and then starts doing the robot. You want to crawl under a rock. <laughs> it's a good, good thing, thing that I'm a, a parent, parent and not, not a friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a time when I need to teach her about priorities and balance. The most important thing in the world is school. Right now, she carries over a 3.7 GPA, and I'm very proud of that. So, right now, I'm learning about how to achieve balance and maintain my priorities. Obviously, my boyfriend is the most important thing in the world right now, so I maintain a high GPA, so Dad will let us hang out more. And I want to go to college, too. <laughs> when it comes to school, I'm kind of a tyrant, but I have to gently motivate her so that she'll have options when she graduates. When it comes to school, I live with Attila the parent. I have to get good grades so I don't get texting, tweeting, Facebook, Instagram, computer, TV, friends, and boyfriend taken away. Seriously, he takes away all of that. Seriously, I do. But I do her homework with her, and she loves that. Yeah. He does my homework with me. He loves that. <laughs> Whatever she reads for AP English, I read for AP English. I had to reread 1984 this year, and it was just as depressing as the first time I read it in school. So, I had to read 1984 this year for AP English, and it was actually pretty cool, but the whole time we were studying it, Dad looked kind of depressed. I make studying fun. We make Jeopardy games out of our homework. All you do is whoever taps the coffee table first gets to answer the question, if they get it correct, they get a point. Okay, we used to play Jeopardy with my homework. I studied my world history honors questions for two weeks, and he studied them once. He was beating me at that stupid Jeopardy game. Two things she's not thinking about here. First, us old people like to watch the History Channel. And second, I took the same class when I was in school. He's so, so competitive. competitive. So I was kicking her butt when it happened. Uh, he was ahead by one question when it happened. Mom asked the next question. And I made sure I was going to hit that table before he could. Which is when I heard the sound of glass oh, breaking. Crap, I hit the coffee table so hard and broke the table. She broke the coffee table. It was horrible. It was great. I was doomed to be grounded forever. She actually thought I would ground her when I knew this was something we would share with our friends forever. 
So the next day, and we told Aubrey about it. We still, still laugh, laugh about, about it today. Of course, it kills her that I'm smarter. Yeah, Dad's smarter. He knows the capital of the Soviet Union and how to work a VHS recorder. Hey, <laughs> VHS could come back. <laughs> but there's more to life than school. Like a boyfriend. Of course, I'm talking about sports. Hello, boyfriend. She liked golf when she was little, but seemed to lose her enthusiasm for it as she got older. Golf is about as exciting as watching the floor get dusty. <laughs> so I taught her to play tennis. It was frustrating at first. I'm a patient guy. <laughs> I used to get a real kick out of him feeding me the balls and then hitting them all over the fence and then watching him go and pick them all up. He would grit his teeth every time he had to fetch it and then he'd bring them all back and gently feed them to me again and I'd hit him all the way over the fence again and he'd have to go pick them up. Eventually, thank goodness, she got better. Eventually, I got bored of Dad having to go get all the tennis balls and I actually realized the game was pretty fun. And she decided she wanted to really go for it. She wanted to go for a tennis scholarship. What? <laughs> I realized I liked tennis, and boom, Dad knows I'm getting a scholarship. So I train Erica, and I'm hard on her, but I make it fun. I'm sure he's having fun. Then her teammates noticed how much she'd improved. So they all asked if they could come and train with us. I realized if I brought my friends along, that would mean less torture for me. Of course, I hated not being able to devote all my time to good sweet Erica. But if the entire team was going to win, I would have to train the entire team. Everyone we trained eventually became starters on the team. Dad loves being the center of attention. Hello, Toastmaster. <laughs> but I have to give it to him. Our girls on the tennis team improved under him in just three months than they had in three years under the old coach. All those Toastmaster skills made him a master of training and motivation. And the best part of all, for the first time in years, the, the Green, Green Valley, Valley Gators, Gators went 10 and 0. Woo! -hoo! Go okay. Gators! <laughs> okay, so obviously there's more to life of a teenager than getting good grades. Like a boyfriend. <laughs> and doing well in sports. Boyfriend. There's music. Boyfriend. There's art. Boyfriend. There's friends. Yeah, I have lots of friends, but hello, boyfriend. <laughs> and now that she's 16 and gorgeous, the blossoming of young romance was inevitable. That's a really old person's way of saying, I have a boyfriend. <laughs> of course, I talked to her, and we hoped that she would just stay focused on her studies until she graduated from college. Denial. It ain't just a river in Egypt, folks. <laughs> Then one day, I came home late for lunch, and I saw a couple kissing. Of all the luck, what was he even doing home at 2.30? My wife and I talked about it, and my wife, knowing our daughter the way she does, she said, if we try to forbid the relationship, Erica will just rebel and see him secretly. Thank goodness for Mom. She sure got that right. So we did what all good parents do. We went to dinner with his parents. Okay, and stop right there. What parents insist on going to dinner with the guy's parents? Newsflash, this is not the 1960s. Most of my friends have never even heard, guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> In this case, it was my dad. It actually went quite well. Okay, it wasn't the nightmare it could have been. So I invited her boyfriend over for the talk with dad. I was very okay, friendly. Okay, I have to hold it there again. <sighs> No one knows exactly what my dad did in the military, but after that day, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with enhanced interrogation techniques. <laughs> and then he asked about grades. Hello! My boyfriend is fun, romantic, gorgeous, athletic, and he gets me. I mean, he's smart, but I'm not dating him because he's captain of the nerd squad. Which is fine by me. I simply pointed out... No, 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 no. He did not point out anything. He told, told, told my boyfriend that if he wanted to see me, he would have to get all A's and B's from then on. I thought it was a perfectly reasonable request. So imagine you were me. Your new smoking hot boyfriend looks at you and says, is he kidding? And you're forced to look into his beautiful green eyes and say, he's totally serious. But my boyfriend proved to be the best in the universe. He courageously took down my father and he said yes. He would get all A's and B's. He looked that dragon okay, in the Okay, okay, fine. This was the beginning of the school year. 
And he said and he, would he has gotten all A's and B's since then. When he gets his report card, he comes to my dad. Because of <sighs> me, I am his inspiration, his muse, but he did all the rest. He's the best. All right, both the kids are great. They are. As a matter of fact, he comes over to our house and we play games and on movie nights we'll make real popcorn in a pan with real melted butter and have sodas and watch movies and it's great. Did I mention this isn't the 1960s? Okay, we actually have a good time together. They've earned our trust, which is why we let them go to prom on their own and even let him take her out on car days. He didn't mention he has real-time GPS tracking me on my phone 24-7. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm a mildly pit, strict parent. He is. But she's also an amazing young woman. I am. And yes, I put up with his educational tyranny. She does. But he's a great dad. I am. So you, you know, know what? what? Everything, Everything in this speech is true. true. And it's, it's not, not tough. tough. It's, it's the, the best. best. Mr. Tosman. Oh. Oh.